Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another Bulls model showcase. I have another model from Gentle Ben Williams. Um, it w may be one that you may not be familiar with, so I'm going to let him take it away. Ben, what is this model and where is it from? All right, well, I believe uh, her name is pronounced Fatina, but I'm not 100% sure on that. She's from the Heldorado range. Uh, she is a Huri, which I looked it up once, and it's uh, basically like a spirit of protection. So she uh, kind of hangs around your guys, and um, I think she can heal them, if I remember correctly, but also she gives other bonuses to your army for guys that have died. Okay, so she's a, kind of a buff bot, heal bot type thing. Um, Next question is a two-parter. First off, blue skin. Was that inspired by Aladdin, number one? And number two, uh, blue skin is not something you see every day, at least for me. But can you talk about that technique of actually painting the skin a little bit? Because it's really cool and really neat. <laughs> no, no Aladdin. Uh, my whole Saracen army, I have a pretty large Saracen army for Eldorado. And uh, the studio scheme is kind of a green, so I just decided, whatever, I'll, instead, I'll just basically sub in blue for green and I think it works pretty well but uh, yeah I've kind of haven't I haven't helped but notice some of the Aladdin comparisons myself uh, anyway back to the blue skin um, around the time I painted this I think it's a uh, maybe dark sword was showing off a model with really beautiful blue skin and I decided I wanted to try something like that I can't remember exactly what the base coat was it's a Vallejo I was going through some Vallejos for a while um, and they're pretty good paints but I usually stick to P3 now. I don't remember what the exact color was, but it's kind of an icy blue. Um, and basically, rather than highlight that with white or with a lighter blue, you go in uh, with a flesh color. In this case, I'm pretty sure it was uh, P3's Rin flesh. And you just sort of blend that in really carefully. And then that gives that blue skin kind of a warm feel that you're not going to get if you just use white. Um, so that's what kind of makes her feel a little bit more organic as opposed to like cold and icy, which is what you would get if you used white. That is a very good tip. Thanks for sharing. Um, can you talk a little bit about the uh, the pose of the model? It's a, it's a very flowing, very kind of, uh, uh, there's a lot of movement showing off in the model to me when I see it. Can you talk about how you approached uh, when you're painting like the, the, the sash and stuff like that, how you approached painting that and just some of the challenges in, in associated with that too? Uh, well, it's always interesting when you have cloth like this, especially when there are large areas underneath the cloth. Normally when you get figures with a lot of cloth, it's like robes or something like that. So when you don't see what's going on beneath it. So uh, what I did here, I had to do some sort of darker shadows than I was really used to doing with white. You know, normally with white, like I, at this point when I was painting, because this, this was on a at least two years ago, you know, I kind of had my white palette and... It didn't really get much darker than like, you know, my white shade B or whatever. Uh, but for this one, I had to go in and I actually used some purples to make it a uh, really dark uh, where, you know, the deep shadows are in her cloth. And, uh, you know, the purple also kind of made it warm. And since there's some yellows in the rest of the white, uh, it kind of gave it, you know, a lot of nice vibrancy to it. Cool. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the base and the, the kind of the base choice in there? It's I guess you probably get a lot of questions about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not even really questions necessarily. I mean, I've just had people straight up tell me like, that's wrong, that is incorrect for this kind of model, which I can kind of see it's definitely an anachronism, but the game Helderado is set in hell. And uh, I mean, hell is kind of like a artist's playground. Like it can be whatever you want it to be. There's really no telling what. So I figured, you know what? I don't really want to go for like, magma fields or you know any of that sort of normal stuff so i kind of went for more of the silent hill kind of hell look um it might be a little bit too industrial for the time period which is 17th century but i don't really think hell cares about what time it is like it's just kind of going to do its own thing so i always thought it would be interesting to have all these saracens you know in hell for the first time really confused because it's not even like those fields of ash they read about in the brochures it's something completely different Right on. Well, we're all out of time. This is Adam Harry for Bulls Model Showcase, another model by General Ben Williams. Thanks for watching.